Okay, maraming maraming salamat po. Now, my question to everyone is, I hope you can now write. <laughs> Makakapagsulat na po ba tayo? Yes. By God's grace. Amen. Okay, basta? Yeah, thank you so much po. Sa loob ng ilang oras ay makapal-kapal din itong aming mga nakatanggap. So, ibig sabihin, you can write po. All you need to do is write. So, yun, yun ang problema natin. Narinig ko na kay Ma'am Janet. Talagang kailangan ng gawin ay magsulat pa talaga. We can do it. Uh, kapag uh, niremind kayo, nakita niyo yung email natin. Uh, meron schedule. Sabi ko, Viana, ay Pastor Kai, yes, we need to re remind them of our schedule, yung month ng gathering, pagkatapos ng editing, and then, uh, so they will be reminded kapag uh, panahon na para mag-gather yung mga articles. Okay, so we have uh, plotted this po as our timeline for uh, gathering our Miss Parite apps. In as much as possible, by first month of the quarter, we will all collect yung mga articles po natin para sa February po, it is for proofreading, layouting, editing, and then on March, I mean on the last uh, month of the quarter will be the dissemination. Okay po, so for example, ngayon pong quarter, actually tapos na po yung deadline namin for the first quarter of our MISPA. But we are opening still for everyone who would like still to put their uh, outputs or articles to our MISPA po. We have already gathered 12 and we want your articles to be added there. So any anything as long as its theme is about mission. Okay, mission po yung ating theme ngayong uh, January ay ngayong first quarter. So ulitin po namin at the first month of the quarter, we will gather all the uh, articles and then February and then tapos po ng January, for example January yon, I will we'll close that and then February for layouting, editing and so on and then March will be the dissemination. So I hope po na every, uh, sa next na po, uh, ano ba yung next pastor? April. Please uh, start writing already on April and at the end, please give your outputs, I mean send your outputs through this email, mispa, M-I-S-P-A-H at Adventist.ph. Again, M-I-Z-P-A-H at Adventist.ph. Mispa at Adventist.ph. Thank you so much. Uh, nakalimutan ko kanina. Ben, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Kahit uh, busy-busy ka, I... Uh, thank you po. You have accepted our visit invitation to, to join us this afternoon. Salamat. So, ano mga in-expect po natin? Alam niyo naman yung regular content ng MISPA. Lalo na ngayon ay uh, we need more stories. Especially po, mga conversion stories. Of course, yung mga news regular na yan. Very strong na tayo dyan. Uh, Bala na yung mga writers and editors natin para i-convert yung ating mga video news sa, sa news na pwedeng include sa ating mga issues. Kinuha ko yung uh, hinigi ko kay Melo itong listahan niya. Nilal nilagay niya rito, news and commentary, cover feature, feature, Adventist heritage, spiritual growth, inbox, and Adventist life. So you can write uh, uh, related to this. Uh, para maka-contribute kayo sa ating regular issues sa uh, MISPA. So, eto na. Sa dami nitong mga sinabmit, etong lima ang napili namin. Ito yung una, from, from dito sa regular Bible, papunta dito sa letter Bible. Al alam nyo na sequence na. Ano? <laughs> So ito ay walang pangalan itong isa. So hindi makakatanggap to kasi walang pangalan eh. <laughs> Ang title niya ay The Mission with the Purpose. Thank you so much for contributing this kanina ito. Oh. Ito Bible mo. Ang sunod po ay Miss Bali halo na ito. Lahat ng mga sinulat niyo from uh, the lecture ni Ma'am Janet hanggang dito sa mga ginawa natin this afternoon. Yung sunod ay, Miss, you forgot to pay. <laughs> Galing kay uh, Rachel. Yung sunod ay, uh, so this time, 
We are waiting for the President of North Philippine Conference para sa ating uh, closing remarks and I will give the certificate. Uh, pero yan, yeah, no, tignan mo, inahanda pa yung uh, snack nyo. <laughs> Kasama pa yan sa ating uh, session. Yung sunod ay uh, local church writers urge to write in global terms. Bon Rojas. Parang, parang ipamibigay mo ito sa dalaga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, mukhang kailangan mo. Uh, yung susunod ay I'm here. Lovely. Gandesa. <laughs> okay. At uh, kanino kaya ito? Parang ayaw ni ano to ah. Ayaw na makakatanggap itong letter na ano. Ito po, hindi, the Bibles that we are sharing with you are specially made for the Seventh day Adventist Church by the well-known publishing po sa Felis. Uh, Nagka-partner po sila sa Journal Conference kaya bawat Bible nila ay naka-focus ko anong department, naka-partner nila. Ito, itong book, kasi ito yung book sa book channel. Ito yung ginagamit namin uh, for medical practitioners, doctors and nurses. Pero maraming message yan na related sa hope. Michael Dalida. Pasa Michael. So ito, patas ang laban dito. Patas from uh, members, volunteers, two directors. So, talagang uh, at least na patunayan ni Pastor Mike na galing sa ng Philippine Publishing House natin. So again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for uh, joining us dito sa seminar. Ito po ay hindi nagtatapos dito. Kundi ito yung simula ng ating uh, patuloy na paglilingkod sa pamagitan ng aspect na ito. Katulad ng aking nabanggit kanina umaga, ay we need more help on this aspect. At saka you need to uh, strengthen din to dahil most of our medium ministries, ang foundation nito ay sa writing talaga. Kaya malaking bagay na patuloy tayo magtulungan dito. Now, uh, I will give the time to the President of North Philippine Conference, Pastor Jen Tamobo. Parang uh, binigla ka, Pastor. Uh, we just want you to be seen and personally meet our writers, volunteers dito sa ating teritory. Thank you, po. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor uh, Sarmento. Good afternoon to everyone. Binigla ako ni Pastor uh, Sarmento. Eh. Alam niyo naman na uh, Gusto ko sana mag-attend. I know it's that I want to attend this meeting or seminar, but then uh, my uh, schedule, especially meetings of different committees, uh, did not permit me to come in and join you. But uh, nevertheless, this afternoon, I would like to thank you and congratulate you for uh, attending this uh, very important uh, seminar. I hope and pray that uh, as you write for the Lord, you will serve as his witness. Amen. I cannot forget the uh, the theme of our uh, of this year's uh, focus. It, it's all about be his witness. And today, writing, I would like to read read some of the things that I have written here. Today, writing well is more important than ever. Writing is a daily occupation for all of us especially in our email, in our, uh, what you call this one, uh, messenger, or blogs, in all aspects of our so of the social media at present. So it is also a primary means for documenting, communicating, and uh, at the same time, do you know that uh, at this time, we seldom honor the uh, oral communication because we can easily deny what we have said to somebody. But when you write, ano, pagkakay po'y sumulat, at yun ay binigay nyo, that will serve a very strong evidence 
that you have uh, said something towards that person. So this afternoon, allow me to uh, remind you that as you write what you have in mind, always bear in mind also that uh, kung ano po yung isinulat nyo ay hindi nyo pwede interpret pag yan ay nilagay nyo sa social media. Always bear in mind, when you write something on social media, they will interpret that, not the way you want to be to interpret it, but the way they want to interpret it for their own advantage. So, lagi kayo mag-iingat, hindi basta kayo nagsusulat kung saan sa lahat. Because your writers will always be under what's and under scrutiny of those people who always wants to see yung mga bad points ninyo and that would be a boomerang to you. So, uh, allow me to quote some uh, Bible passages from the book of Psalms, chapter 45, verse 1. It says, My heart is steered by a noble theme. As I recite my verses for the king, my tongue is the pen of a skillful writer. Pen. Ano po? Yung po ang ating pong dila. So, ang mga po yung sinabi natin, ay yun po ay parang isinulat na rin nyo at binasa ng iba, hindi nyo na po yun magpagawin. So, as you write what you have in mind, and as you speak also, according to the outburst of your heart, always bear in mind, ano ang magiging result nito sa nakikinig sa akin at pagbabasa ng aking sinulat. The other one, I would like to read verse of front the book of uh, Proverbs 16, verse 3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. So as you write your uh, article, uh, news, I should say, always uh, think na ito ay ginagawa natin, sinusulat natin para sa Panginoon. At alam po kapag kayo ang inyong pong motibo, Nobody would question what you are writing for him. There should be discipline also. Nothing will get done or written without this. Any writer who practices discipline is more likely to think clearly and go past their everyday problems, especially those who create pieces for the internet. When one is disciplined, the result and outcome are prioritized over the process that uh, we are doing. Kaya sa tuwing tayo magsusulat, huwag lang natin tingnan nyo ang ating nagawa ay tama na. Let us always think ano ba ang magiging outcome nito sa mga taong babasa. Ano po? Anong mangyayari sa kanila pag nabasa nila ito? Lalo sa social media. Kaya pag ka nagsulat kayo sa social media, lalo kayo ay may maraming mga followers. Beware! sapagkat yung mga taong naniniwala sa inyo, susundan at isa sa kabuhayan yung inyo pong isinusulat. What if what you are writing, ano po, ay yung inyong sinusulat sa kanila, what you are conveying somewhat along the way will lead them away from our great writer. Kayo rin po ang mananagod sa kanila. Later on, di ba? When we mirror, and sabi ganun, when we mirror him and his ways in all of our, de our deeds, words, thoughts, and even writing, we function as his witness. When we write to people about how we feel about Jesus, we are bearing witness to him. And when we leave out what we write and publish, that demonstrates our trust in Jesus, we are witnesses of Him. And when we testify about Christ to others and encourage them to learn about and follow Him through our writings, we are acting as His witnesses. Finally, brothers and sisters, I would like to quote again from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, 
whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think and write about such things and be his witness all throughout your life. God bless you and God bless you. Amen. Amen.